coming back down the hill, finally got this thing running with the Burko snowblower on the front of the uh, gator. John's behind in the orange hat, Jeff's in France. We're very careful with the, the snow's half starting to melt and it's incredibly heavy. So he's turning the blower away from the car, <laughs> from the, the Nissan on the right, otherwise it will get stoned. And uh, this is the second pass. We move back here. Shift a pretty huge volume of um, snow, as you can see. Oops, there we go. Good man. They managed to high, they managed to high center it, unfortunately, and it's about now to get, to get it out and running and everything else. A bit of kit. And I'm sure we'll be using it again before the winter's out. Especially as probably another disturbance system coming through here maybe Wednesday, Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I'll be stepping in for the last few feet of the, uh, the ride. I'm going to step back into the field just here. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was gonna it wouldn't fire it at me, no. Whoa, I'm gonna move. <laughs> I'm gonna move here. Want to say a quick word, John? It works great when you give it time to uh, time to do it. This snow is melting and it's wet and heavy, so it's a real real problem. And with the amount of gravel we're picking up, we just broke a shear pin on the uh, on the auger or on the impeller, one of the two. So we'll replace that and have a go again. <laughs>